Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for September 13th, 2022. Well, this morning could prove to be a very wild, wild world of price action this morning as we get a CPI number, and those well, those predictors out there have the potential of what could occur all over the map. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. You know, it's going to be an interesting morning today. Um, those talking heads, those predicting talking heads and uh, all of the analysts are all over the map when it comes to what the CPI report is going to be today. Some of the talking heads and folks out there suggest we're going to just rip, rip to the upside. Boy, glory, here we come. We're just going to take off like a rocket ship. Others are suggesting uh, we're likely to sink into the depths of new lows, um, ugliness coming in the market. There are those out there. Um, I saw Jim Cramer saying, oh, I just think the, the market bottom holds to kind of just kind of hedge his bet. And then there are those out there that say numbers likely going to be very confusing to the market with short term numbers showing an improvement in inflation while long term numbers are not. I don't know what's going to happen. What I do know for sure is it's going to be pretty volatile. It's probably going to be a little bit dangerous. Um, first thing this morning, bid ask spreads in um, options will probably be quite wide as the market reacts. And remember that it really doesn't matter so much about what the number is. It only matters how the market reacts to it. But let's take a look at our technicals here in the chart. First off, if we take a look at our technicals, overall, we still have to say, you know, doggone it, we're still in a downtrend um, overall. And although our short term upside move has been very very, very powerful. Um, and that's really what I've wanted to see to set up potential short trades. You know, a day like today where we can get a, a number that could create all kinds of volatility, we certainly have that possibility that um, the bulls will grab a hold of this number and push us even higher. And that may turn the tide here in the market to the bullish side or those bears engage and we turn and go down. So uh, anything is possible here on the day. As a matter of fact, if the number comes out confusing, could you see these um, consolidating areas right here in the market? Just set up another range of consolidation here in this trade, either above or below this area, um, as we try to figure out what that number really means. So watch that closely. One thing we can be pretty sure about is no matter what the number says, the FOMC is still going to be raising rates aggressively in this next meeting. And we will have to be thinking about those issues as well. It's just not a one and done situation here to fix our economies worldwide. As a matter of fact, China and European markets continue to be very, very weak. Um, recession, global recession is in play. So we have to also keep those things in mind, no matter what the number is this morning. Um, take a little bit of a chill pill, um, sit back, watch the show and make sure you're protecting your capital today. Let's take a look at our technicals here in our charts. Now our technicals have improved pretty dramatically. We've pushed back through that 50 day moving average and right back up through the 34 and 20 day moving average here as this rally continues and pressing into a very substantial level of price resistance in the chart. So we'll wanna watch that closely. This number could certainly send us through that price resistance or we could break down substantially from that price resistance, make sure you're planning your trades very, very carefully because I think anything is possible. If we take a look at our SPY, very similar situation where we've broken back above this little downtrend break. That's not a very well drawn line, but you can see kind of breaking back above that level in here. And you could certainly do this and say, no, we haven't changed anything 
yet in the chart um, in breaking those levels. But keep in mind that we're pushing into very substantial levels of price resistance as this number comes out this morning. So will it be the kind of number that helps us break through those levels or will it be that number that breaks us down from those levels? And your guess is as good as mine on that day. Technicals in the chart um, also have improved here pretty dramatically. But remember, we still got a lot of work here to do before we start uh, fixing our global situations out there in the overall market. Then let's take a look at our QQQ. Now QQQ has um, rallied substantially but continues to run into that nasty little problem here of um, bonds being um, really challenging. Um, our bond yields this morning have not really backed off. As a matter of fact, they continue to stay really strong heading into uh, this number which really does kind of suggest that um, FOMC is going to remain very aggressively um, hawkish in the market. So we will want to consider these things as we rally back to these resistance levels in the chart. Can we pop through? Can we retest this, this downtrend area of the chart? Well, we're going to find out here pretty soon. So just buckle up and get ready for some wild price action. And then on the Russell, IWM broke back above that downtrend here. As you can see, we kind of held it um, in here um, overall. So Russell is showing one of the strongest patterns in the market right now. And as a matter of fact, breaking through um, or testing strongly some um, sp um, pretty substantial resistance areas in the chart. So watch that closely. Perhaps IWM is the leading um, indicator that say we will be bullish. I don't know. Watch that closely. I, again, I think anything is possible. If we take a look at our VIX this morning, the VIX, although we went up yesterday, um, interestingly enough, so did the VIX. The VIX um, started to increase a little bit of the fear um, even though um, our markets remained bullish into the close yesterday, a little bit of fear. So you can see in the market there is that, that acknowledgement that we don't know what's going to happen here in this number this morning. So keep an eye on this area right through here. This will be kind of a critical area. If the bears get a hold of this, we'll likely jump above that area right there and that could create some fear and a um, little bit of uh, wild volatility in the market. If the number proves to be bullish and the bulls can grab a hold of it, if we stay below this area and keep pushing down, well, I would expect that fear to drop out of the market. And then if we take a look at our T2122, now T2122 gives us a little bit of a problem here. T2122 is all the way back up here in the bearish reversal zone. So being up here, we would expect a pullback to occur at any time. But remember, this number could create that strong upside move as well. And if it does, we would look for this to kind of peg out up here. As a matter of fact, right now, the current futures are suggesting we're going to peg um, the top side of this um, um, this morning. But remember that that's going to change a lot after this number comes out. So watch that closely. If we pop up here and, and, and bang into that resistance level up here, we've seen, we've experienced recently where we can linger up here for quite a while. But we also want to acknowledge the fact that we often, when we ping up here we we can ping straight up and then completely reverse as well so watch for that possibility to exist we are reaching kind of an overbought we are in an overbought short-term condition of the market so if this number were to come out bearish it could be a quick reversal back to, to the downside so watch close and then our t2108 or t2108 improved yesterday notice 52 percent of the stock um, almost 53% of the stocks um, um, back above their 40 day moving average. So quite a whipsaw here in the market. But you'll also want to recognize we didn't really answer any questions here. Um, we still broke that trend to the downside. We haven't been able to break back through to the upside. Perhaps today is today. Watch all of that resistance in the chart that we're going to have to break through. Um, so right now, I kind of have to lean to 
you know the bearish side just a little bit here based on the technicals of this chart that we could push on back down just because we're kind of overbought in that short term we've stretched this a lot the thing that's going to change this is how we react to that number today if we take a look at t2107 t2107 has shown that nice improvement here um, back up we have got 33% uh, of the stocks above their 200 day moving average you will want to notice that we held this support area and rallying back through we've got quite a little bit of price resistance here in the chart to deal with but this is bullish because we have um, supported that um, higher low here in the chart so watch watch that close today could be the telltale whether we're going to move on higher or break down and then our t2101 was um, honestly a little bit confusing as well yesterday we had very light volumes um, th uh, throughout the day but um, when we were moving remember t2101 gives us momentum dis despite the direction of the market and we had the momentum for the upside rally in this push down in t2101 but then um, it reversed to the upside suggesting that the bears were gaining a little bit of control in that move yesterday so again light volume a little confusing probably not the best data here um, in that in that chart but at the same time um, it's showing us that uncertainty about that number this morning what comes next we just don't know so let's buckle up and get ready let's take a look at that economic calendar today and you can see that is our primary focus here this morning um, coming out before the open we're going to have that cpi number will create a lot of volatility likely most likely could create some substantial price action whipsaws um, after the open so be careful for that and also you'll want to be watching um, um, uh, for that um, the, the potential of where we can just rip to the upside we just get that melt up to the upside or melt down to the downside uh, where things collapse we could see some very strong moves one way or the other depending on how this market reacts keeping in mind that we um, later on in the day we have some uh, a 30-year bond auction that we'll want to be paying attention to and we've got the treasury statement here at 2 p.m don't know that that will move the market all that much but then as we kind of catch our breath from today's big number you'll want to pay attention we've got ppi tomorrow so we're going to go right into those producer prices first thing tomorrow morning and another most likely very volatile anticipatory number that could create lots of volatility and then if that's not enough we're going to jump right into all of this data on Thursday that can certainly be pretty substantial in price action movement as well so you'd like to think we got past the CPI everything's going to be great but yeah then look for a little bit more volatility and also remember the cpi is not going to fix the world conditions out there it's not going to help what's happening in china it's not going to help what's happening in europe um, it certainly could be very helpful here to the united states or very detrimental to what's happening in the united states but the global recession the global weakness that we're seeing out there is going to continue to be an issue we're going to have to deal with for a while looking forward let's take a look at our earnings calendar for today now our earnings calendar we only have um, a few on that calendar uh, today as a matter of fact 12 confirmed reports and looking through those reports most of those are very very small cap um, a very light volume type companies um, I could really only come up with one that you know made any kind of sense at all you know if you take a look at like YQ is one I'm reporting today you know a dollar sixty not much in there that's going to be market moving we're going to be totally focused on that CPI so uh, the only notable and it's only somewhat notable um, that I came up with is CNM 
um, for today. And CNM looks like we had a good gap up here this morning on its report, breaking through some major resistance levels in the chart. So perhaps a higher low hold in here, and uh, we could be off to races and fixing some of the problems here in that stock this morning. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And I know it gets monotonous, but I want to continue to ask for the help. If you can continue to click those thumbs up buttons, leave a brief comment on the channel that continues to help support the channel for growth. And also, if you guys could do me that favor and share these videos out there on your social media feed, that also helps an awful lot reaching new folks that might have an interest in this kind of subject matter. So thank you so much to everyone who does take the time. And I haven't mentioned this for a little while, but thank you to everyone who continues to support the channel through the Buy Me A Coffee link. You guys, you guys are truly awesome. Thank you so much. Let's take a look at some stocks that are setting up and remember guys these are not um, recommendations in any way shape or form um, you should do your own due diligence in every trade you should never ever follow someone else's trade ideas unless you understand the setup the why of the trade so make sure you're being very very careful and you're doing the right job for your trading account and your tolerance for risk in these uh, potential uh, charts. Let's take a look at a couple of them. You guys know I continue to go over a lot of the same charts, but I got to tell you, they just keep working. So what are you going to do? Um, when you take a look at BJ here, BJ had a little tiny resting pullback yesterday. Um, after breaking through up here, I can see we're just kind of consolidating here just a bit. I think we need to watch this chart for that next opportunity, maybe resting out here, looking for that next opportunity to the up side so keep a close eye on that and what's interesting is I saw that happening in a lot of retail yesterday um, we had stocks like WMT uh, moving to the upside yesterday trying to get something going here um, and some of these retailers uh, try to pick up a bit take a look at Target pushing up here may be ready to rest or consolidate along this area right in here and if it does rest and hold and maybe hold on to this trend look for those next opportunities into those charts um, let's say Costco whoops Costco would be in that same vein um, pushing back up through some price resistance in the chart any rest or consolidation in here notice we're breaking that downtrend so any rest or consolidation in here resumes that potential uptrend um, so keep an eye on Costco. That's looking uh, pretty good as well. Um, when we look at um, some, well, I got to tell you, it's kind of interesting yesterday when we saw the dollar pulling back and we're getting another pullback here this morning. That's pushing energy prices higher. Take a look at um, energy XLE. And this is one of the things we're going to have to be watching pretty carefully. Of. I know a lot of folks want to see that dollar pull back but just remember when the dollar pulls back oil is going to likely spike and push up higher there are still those out there predicting and i don't know if they're correct predicting that oil could be somewhere between 130 150 dollars a barrel the dollar falling would be the exact th thing that could create that so while we want to see um, an easing in this dollar, we also have that double-edged sword on this that if the dollar really starts to collapse to the downside and devalue, then we look for all of our commodity prices to um, start moving back up. And unfortunately, what that's going to do is fan the flames of inflation. If all of a sudden our energy prices begin to spike back up due to the weakness, due to a weakening dollar. So we'll want to keep an eye on this because this is going to be 
pretty interesting as we move forward. Kind of a, um, a, a delicate balancing act for the Fed uh, because um, the strong dollar is hurting countries around the world. A weak dollar could really create massive inflation here um, in the United States with um, energy and food prices spiking right back up. So. Be kind of careful in what you wish for um, here in uh, the market. But having said that, keep an eye on some of these energy companies. We're seeing um, um, lots of bullishness um, pushing back into um, some of these energy stocks. So watch that closely as they continue to try and break through resistance levels and push on up. Other places you might want to be taking a look. A weak dollar is going to create um, some new interest in um, natural gas. And I don't think the problems with natural gas are going to go away anytime soon. Over there in Europe, we have some major shortages of, of natural gas in places around the world. And you can see we're pushing back up here as that dollar weakens. So remember, a weakening dollar creates higher prices, food, energy, all of those kind of things. You might also start keeping an eye on some of these like uh, precious metals, GLD. Um, we haven't really broke out. This isn't ready for prime time yet, but we're trying to break that downtrend. And if the, this were to put in a higher low, then we'd want to watch that carefully. Notice kind of a double bottom situation here in gold. Overall, still in an ugly, ugly downtrend. So it's got a lot of work here to do. But again, a declining dollar would create a higher price in gold, in silver. We could probably expect to see um, steel stocks, aluminum, things like that, uh, palladium. Um, um, can move sharply higher on a decline in the dollar. So watch that closely. For the crypto folks out there, it will also create lots of bullishness in that crypto sector if UUP falls. So watch that close. Uh, but at the same time, UUP falls, expect inflation to go higher because our oil and gas will go back up and it'll go up substantially so watch that carefully um, you might also want to take a look at some of the other alternatives out there you guys know i keep repeating about ccj loving this chart i would expect a little bit of rest at this resistance up here that's what we're getting but keep an eye on some of those uranium plays they're looking just pretty darn good um, those um, additional energy um, sources um, uh, I've mentioned um, um, for solar over and over last week and that continues to look good um, notice we're not breaking down as a matter of fact what we're doing is resting and consolidating here watch for that next opportunity for first solar to continue to push on higher and then um, um, you might want to be keeping an eye on plug uh, plug power um, Big hydrogen plays um, starting to come up as we start to consider, well, maybe maybe our electrical grid can't handle all of uh, these unless we start building some power uh, plants really soon. We, we can't supply enough energy to put everybody in an EV, um, you know, in the next few years. So watch that carefully here, that possibility the plug could continue to gain some ground and maybe poke through some resistance here in the chart soon. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thanks so much for being here this morning. I really do appreciate it. You know, sit back, pop some popcorn, put up your feet, watch the show this morning. That's about all we can do. Anything is going to be possible after that. And your guess is as good as mine. So I want to wish you all of the best. Take care of yourselves. Be safe. And we'll see you right back here, bright and early Wednesday morning.